guys, how's it going? Guess what day it is? It's hump day. Woo -woo! No, that was yesterday. Well, it's Christmas day, of course. No, it's, it's March. Friday, Friday. No. Friday, Friday. You know what, just stop. I'll just tell you. It is National Cereal Day, because apparently that's a thing. You name it, there's probably a national day for it. Yesterday was National Oreo Day. Oreo, Oreo. Did you eat some Oreos? Did you celebrate? I didn't, because I didn't know that was a thing. But I do know that it's National Cereal Day because I have been wanting to make this video for quite a while now. Literally every single time I go to the grocery store in the United States, there is a ginormous, ginormous, ginormous aisle of cereal. So many different brands, and each brand has like 50 billion types of its own cereal with minor alterations. It's madness. This is madness. It's madness, I tell you. The United States is known for opportunities and varieties, and that especially applies to food. I mean, take Oreos alone. We have a maddening level of Oreos. I think it's like 36 different flavors. You go overseas to Jordan, there is one flavor of Oreo. Normal, just the regular. Jordan also does not have an infinite amount of cereals to choose from. You have a couple. We're getting better, we have a few more choices, but nothing like here. I honestly don't know many other countries that have a cereal selection like the United States. It's pretty impressive. It is also terribly overwhelming. There are too many choices. I think it's actually debilitating how many choices there are. Why? Why so many? Because let's face it, 95% of those cereals are packed full of artificial sugar and just terrible things for your body. And those are the exact cereals I'm gonna try in today's video. Let me just preface this by I do not normally eat cereal. I am an oatmeal person and if I do eat cereal, it's that stuff that tastes like cardboard because it's like high in fiber and just nasty, you know? There's like no ingredients in it because it's like super good for you, no sugar, nothing. So this is going to be a shock to my system, but I'm kind of excited. We're gonna start with something that's not too weird. It's pretty familiar, except it is a hybrid of two different cereals. Fruit Loops with marshmallows. They basically took Lucky Charms marshmallows and threw them in the Fruit Loops because they're like, let's get the best of both worlds. I'm okay with both cereals. I actually do not like the marshmallows and the Lucky Charms. I think they're kind of disgusting. I don't really like Lucky Charms in general. Fruit Loops was my jam as a kid. I freaking loved Fruit Loops. We got your Fruit Loops, your typical Fruit Loops. Oh, those are delicious. And we got the little Lucky Charms marshmallows. Yeah, I really don't like those marshmallows. Why do people like these? Ugh. But I can't really appreciate this cereal without eating it properly. It's just Fruit Loops, which I actually quite like, and marshmallows. Okay, they're a little better with the milk, but not bad, actually. I would personally just prefer straight up plain Fruit Loops. But I can see why somebody would like this. Best of both worlds. Another really popular breakfast food item, donuts. Everybody loves a good donut for breakfast, but what if you want to have cereal and a donut, but you don't want to eat both, that's a little too much. Here's the solution, donut cereal. Hostess has created powdered mini donut cereal. It's like tiny little donuts, but in milk, which in theory is actually kind of brilliant because what do you do with those powdered donuts? You dunk them in milk because it makes them all squishy and lovely. Let's see what it's like in reality though. Oh my god, that is not a good smell. Here's your little powdery mini donut. It's very powdery, I will say that. It just tastes like a frosted Cheerio, which is already a thing. Nothing terribly exciting just yet. Let's try it out. Well, I don't like it. No, I don't like it at all. Ugh. Like once all the powder falls off in the milk, it's basically a really bad Cheerio. Like it's almost cardboardy texture. Like, no, I don't like this. And then your milk's all like powdery, which is in clumpy. It's all clumpy powdery milk. This is a hard pass for me. No, I do not like this. Just if you want donuts, just eat donuts. Not everything has to be combined. It's okay. We don't all need hybrids. Some things are better left separate. A super popular dish in the United States right now is two things that shouldn't go together, and they sound like they shouldn't go together, but they go really well together. Chicken and waffles. Now before you say anything, you have to try it. It is actually really good. I was skeptical at first too. Why, why would you eat chicken, which is the savory thing with waffles, a very sweet thing, it, they complement each other perfectly, actually. It's fantastic. I highly recommend it. But never in my life 
Did I think they would turn chicken and waffles into a cereal? Why? We gotta give it a try though. Actually, is there actually any chicken in this? Disclaimer, absolutely no chickens were harmed in the making of this cereal. I hope there's no chickens in this because that would be horrifying. Let me check the ingredients real quick. There is garlic powder, onion powder, black pepper, sage, and thyme in a breakfast cereal. That sounds horrible. I also noticed that this is a product of Canada. Whoops, because this was supposed to be an American cereal thing. My bad. This is a weird American slash Canadian cereal. Oh my god, it smells amazing! It smells like maple syrup. Oh, we got little waffles right here. They're like tiny little bitty waffles. Mmm, cinnamony. And these are the chicken. It's like little drumsticks. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's savory. It is flipping savory. It doesn't taste like chicken, but holy crap. Yes, that is where that onion powder and all those spices come in. It's not bad, it's just terribly unexpected. I was not expecting that to be actually, it is straight up savory. <laughs> I'm so confused. Okay, 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 we have to eat it properly. I have high hopes for this. I actually really want this to be fantastic. I really do. No, mm-mm, no, mm-mm, nope. Oh no. Once the milk hits that savory chicken drumstick thing, it's done. It's just totally done by itself. Actually not bad. Sweet bits, the little waffle bits are delicious and those by themselves and the milk would probably be fantastic. But once you add these little drumsticks to the milk, no, don't ever do that. Oh man, I'm so disappointed. I wanted this to be so good. My taste buds are all confused right now. Okay, the last cereal I'm gonna try for you guys. I don't even feel like I could call it a breakfast cereal because it's essentially just diabetes in a box. Sour Patch Kids cereal. This is legitimate candy. We are in the age where they take candy and turn it into cereal. Reese's Pieces, Oreos, Cookie Crisp. It's just candy and cookies that you're turning into a cereal. I mean, at this rate, we might as well take the actual candy, put milk on it and call it a day. Oh my god, don't ever do that. So much regret. Oh, god. Here's the hoping the actual cereal doesn't taste like candy with milk over it because that would be atrocious. Soury. So these are basically just itty bitty Sour Patch Kids. Look how tiny they are, they're adorable. Oh my god, they're actually sour. Oh, that's gonna be weird in a cereal. I just wanna point out the fact that this is actually one of my favorite candies. I should be pumped about the idea that it's a cereal, but let's not judge it till we properly try it. It is very colorful, I will give you that. Oh my god. <laughs> it is sour. I've never had sour cereal before. Oh, that is bizarre. It's not horrible. I think it's just the sourness of it mixed with milk is not good. Because if you ever have milk that's sour, you're gonna vomit. So there's like this reflux inside me that's like, why is your milk sour? You should immediately throw this up. So it's a little, little uncomfortable there. If you're a big fan of Sour Patch Kids, just eat the candy or just eat the cereal by itself. Dude, don't mix it with milk. Actually, I'm finding that every single one of these cereals, except the first one, the Fruit Loops, once you mix it with milk, it gets a lot worse. I've actually always wanted to try a lot of the weird cereals we have in the United States, but I have to go thoroughly brush my teeth now because I feel like there are cavities already forming from all the sugar that I just consumed. If you enjoy these weird food tasting videos, make sure you're subscribed to my channel so you'll be notified when I upload a brand new one. How are you guys gonna celebrate National Cereal Day? Because this is a very important holiday. What are you guys gonna eat? Let me know in the comments section below. What's your favorite cereal or what is the weirdest cereal you've seen in your country? Let me know. Go check out all my other old ones. I will link some at the end of this video and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!